Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We are proud to present our next speaker, Denny O'Brien with IBM. Please give him a warm welcome. Uh, thanks, everybody. Hope you guys have been enjoying the show. I unfortunately have Vegas voice after about four days of, uh, of being here. I'm sure many of you do as well. So as I've walked around the floor throughout the week and people see IBM on my badge and come by our IBM booth, they're like, what the heck are you guys doing here? Right? Aren't you guys big competitors with uh, AWS? And in some areas, yes. But what I'm going to talk to you for the next 20 minutes is about how IBM and AWS are partnering and working with clients together to help modernize them, right? Really focus on application modernization. So before we dive into application modernization, let's talk about where we've seen, right, the evolution of cloud adoption go from, right? What are the use cases that have been driving many of you over the years to adopt the, to adopt the cloud, right, as a destination for your workloads there? And it really started with us when IBM got into this journey around clients wanting to move towards greater IT efficiency, right? Getting out of managing their own infrastructure and leveraging someone else's infrastructure to drive their workloads. But then as we evolved and the developer got empowered by the cloud, right? This became a platform, the cloud became a platform. And by the way, when I say cloud, I mean hybrid, right? The cloud can be in Amazon's data center up in the sky somewhere or it can be on your premises as well but the cloud became a platform to develop new cloud native applications. But now where we are seeing the real change, right, and where modernization is being driven across many enterprises globally is all around transformation, right? Leveraging the cloud to transform their business processes, right, to modernize their applications, and really to adopt a true hybrid strategy, right, and being able to move workloads from on-premises to the cloud and back and forth there. So that's really where we are entrenched in, in today. And as we talk to clients, right, and we talk about we know that this is a hybrid world, almost 100% of the clients, right, we did a study recently, almost 100% are truly hybrid and 70% roughly, right, are using multiple public cloud vendors, right? That's great, right? It opens up a lot of opportunity. It gives you access to a lot of services, right, and content to build you know, intelligent, rich applications, but it also introduces challenges, right? The challenges of moving my workloads, right? The challenges of connectivity between cloud environments, both on-premises and public cloud, right? And then also, and think about this, the consistency of how you manage those applications. Right, if I have applications running on premises, if I have them out running in AWS, I want to have a consistent way of managing them, right? Of managing them. I want a consistent way, right, of collecting all of the logs so that I can search and debug problems. I want a consistent way of monitoring the health of them, of automating the deployment and movement of them, right? So some real challenges that our clients, both AWS and IBM, are facing today. And then when we talk about application modernization, what I, like call, what I like to talk about the ladder to modernization, it really has started with our clients within IBM with the traditional IT, right? Workloads running on some hardware in a, on a virtual machine out in their data center, right? They're not really cloud ready and they are certainly not cloud native. But where we are starting to drive clients and where we need to get them to, right, is true cloud native, right? microservices-based architectures, containerized, integrated within their CI, CD pipelines, so that they can get the value and the efficiency and the speed that they need. So let's talk about modernization. A lot of our clients equate that first box over there with modernization, right? Migration. I'm modern now, I migrated. No, you didn't. You just shoveled a workload here and you dumped it over there, right? It was shovel ready. That's not necessarily modernization, right? It's just moving workloads. But then a lot of clients are also focused on innovation. Those have been the two entry points for the cloud. But where we need to get to, right, because only 20% of the workloads today are truly modernized, right? We've taken that monolithic application, we've refactored it with a microservices-based architecture, we've containerized it, we're running it on a container platform, we're getting the value of of things like self-healing and orchestration there. So modernization is key here. And then not only is, is modernization all about how you run the application, it's also how you manage it, 
right? Again, having that consistent set of services to do so. So what's prevent, remember I said 20% of organizations today or 20% of all the workloads have been, ha have been modernized? So what's, presenting, what's preventing the rest, right? What about that other 80%? Well, I could just sum it up really, really easily in that it's hard, right? Change is hard, right? Refactoring your applications. Raise your hand, Who, who's excited about that idea? I want to refactor all my applications, reconstruct them. Yeah, that sounds fun, doesn't it, right? I'd rather build something new, right? So it's hard, right? It takes a lot of time, right? So to do so, right, one of the things that we've been focusing on with IBM is helping our clients accelerate that path to modernization. So show of hands really quick. We're going to make this interactive. How many of you have heard of a, an offering or a product called IBM Cloud Private? Anybody in here? A couple of you. All right, so that's great. So last, uh, last October, we released an offering called IBM Cloud Private, right? IBM Cloud Private is a Kubernetes, all right, who's heard of Kubernetes? Yeah, a lot more hands, right? Who's heard of containers? Yep, a lot more hands there. IBM Cloud Private is IBM's container platform, right? Kubernetes-based container platform. And what we are strategically doing and working with our clients is moving them from away from that old traditional way of running software, right? Running them in containers and running them on top of Kubernetes. Kubernetes has won the container orchestration battle. I think we'd all, we'd all agree with that, right? It's won the mind share. It's all, how many of you guys have a container or Kubernetes strategy uh, in your organization today, right? A lot, and if, and if you don't already, you're probably already thinking about it. So IBM Cloud Private is a container orchestration platform based off Kubernetes, right? It's also a platform to help accelerate and enable you to integrate multiple clouds, right? So you can integrate the services you're leveraging from AWS using our open APIs and, and, and secure integration tooling with the workloads you're either managing or built, developing out on IBM Cloud Private there. We've also taken all of our IBM software, at least the ones that matter. I hope somebody who's in the room didn't record that one, because they all matter, right? We've taken them, right, and strategically, we're containerizing all of our software, moving our clients to a, a place where they can now run their IBM middleware, WebSphere, MQ, right? A lot of tools that I'm sure many of you are familiar, they've been out there forever, right? Running them in containers on top of, uh, in, on top of Kubernetes. And then finally, right, it has a, an end-to-end -end management plane. Remember we talked about part of modernization is having a consistent set of services so that you're managing your workloads consistently regardless of where they are deployed. IBM Cloud Private has a management, your ops chain uh, in there. So we've included the Elastic Stack, right, for all your log management, right? We have monitoring within it, alert management, vulnerability scanning so that your workloads are secure running on the platform there. There's one other thing that I forgot to mention about IBM Cloud Private. It runs on the infrastructure of your choice, right? When it comes to running on infrastructure, IBM Cloud Private is Switzerland. We don't care, right? So that means you can run it on AWS. And that's one of the areas in which we've been partnering with our friends at AWS so that you can host right, IBM Cloud Private out on AWS infrastructure, get the benefits and the agility of the AWS cloud right, with the enterprise capabilities of the IBM middleware and the Kubernetes platform that we built, uh, we built around it there. Right? So that's IBM Cloud Private. It's a platform where you can create new cloud native applications. So we've got all the development run times and tooling and tool chains that you need. It's a platform for app modernization, which is what we're focusing on right here, and also for the hybrid integration as well. Now, when we talk about app modernization, right, we said it's hard, right? And that's why a lot of, uh, a lot of organizations are delaying or maybe just saying, you know what, I'm not going to do it. It's running fine the way it is. I'm still getting value out of those applications. I don't want to move just now. So it's more than just having a platform to help an organization modernize. It's also about putting a framework together as well as some tooling and capabilities to accelerate that modernization. And for us, it really starts with 
right? Our, our IBM Cloud Garage, which is focused on best practices and reference architectures to help enable you, right, and help advise you on the move. But then it moves into some specific tooling that we've built in as a part of uh, IBM Cloud Private to accelerate that modernization. So number one, we have what we call the Cloud Transformation Advisor. It's a part of IBM Cloud Private. So what will, how many of you guys develop Java applications? Yep, quite a few of you. What the Transformation Advisor will do is that it'll assess your Java applications. And it'll make the determination for you, is it shovel ready? Can I take that application and can I move it to the cloud? And if it is 100% shovel ready, it'll actually automate the containerization of that application, right, and integrate it into your CIDC pipeline. So that's the transformation advisor. It's a part of IBM Cloud Private and it's designed to help you uh, assess and automate and move your, uh, your, your applications from on-premises to containers to run on Kubernetes uh, like IBM Cloud Private. And then we have another solution called Cloud Automation Manager. So this is designed, right, because Right, it's a hybrid cloud world, right? And we're working with multiple clouds. What Cloud Automation Manager will do, it will, it will accelerate deployment and it will provision cloud environments in AWS, on premises in your data center, so that you can deploy your applications in the environment of choice, right? Again, that's part of the modernization story is where you're actually running the workloads and having the flexibility of moving them back and forth. And then finally, right, the DevOps part, of our framework is around a tool that is delivered only with IBM Cloud Private, and it's called Microclimate. So this is a new solution out of IBM. It comes with IBM Cloud Private. It's not sold separately any, anywhere, but it is a end-to-end -end development environment where you can develop Java-based applications, containerize them, and integrate them into your DevOps pipeline end-to-end. -end. So these are the tools and capabilities and the end-to-end -end framework that we've developed to work with our clients to help modernize them, right? It starts with the best practices, then it gets into the automated assessment of your applications, of what's available to move and what's shovel ready, right? The actual movement and the deployment of those applications, and finally the DevOps and the, and the management of it uh, around there. So, coming soon, we will have out on AWS a quick start for IBM Cloud Private. And I encourage you to go and, and check that out. So, it's our fully you know, Kubernetes-based IBM Cloud Private platform hosted out on AWS, right? You can spin up in an instance uh, very quickly. So I encourage you to check that out. And this is just part one, right, of how IBM and AWS are partnering together to help modernize um, the enterprise out there. So I encourage you to, uh, to check that out. But now when we think about other challenges here, right? Let's say I've got Kubernetes clusters running in AWS. I've got Kubernetes clusters running on premises. I've got my IBM Cloud Private Kubernetes clusters running on premises. Let me say, if you've got multiple clusters, let's just say hundreds of clusters running in multiple different environments, does that sound like that would be fun and easy to manage? Or do you think it would be challenging, right? Well, let's think about the challenges of running multiple clusters across multiple environments here. Number one is that challenge around visibility. How the heck do I see what's going on across all my clusters, right? How do I know what's healthy, what's up, what's down? Then think about the governance. How do I set and maintain, right, the policies across all of my clusters from a single, single pane of glass? And then finally, all the applications that I'm running out on Kubernetes, Right? How do I deploy them across all of these environments and do so in a consistent way? Right? How do I move them across environments? Right? How do I back them up? How do I do DR? Right? So these are real challenges as we move into a hybrid cloud world with multiple environments that might span multiple vendors and, both, and be both on-premises and off-premises. There has to be a new way in a consistent way in a modern way of managing all of these environments. So, and I'm gonna end with this, and actually end a little bit early for you. Back in September, we, uh, we announced within IBM a new way of doing this. 
So we have a new solution. It's a part of the IBM Cloud Private family, and it's designed to manage all of your Kubernetes clusters, regardless of where they are deployed. So if you were running Kubernetes out in AWS, if you're running them on-premises with IBM Cloud Private, this will give you the visibility you know, the, uh, the, uh, across all of those environments from a single pane of glass. It'll give you a consistent way to manage all of those applications running across all your Kubernetes clusters across multiple environments from a single pane of glass, right? We were first to market with this in the industry here in terms of, of, of a consistent way to manage your Kubernetes clusters regardless of, uh, of where, they're, uh, where they're deployed. So with that, I'll be available for a couple of questions. I want to say thank you. I encourage you all to work with IBM and AWS on your modernization journey. We're happy to help accelerate that for you. So thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>